Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to enable query suggestions in SharePoint 2013 on Office 365. Uh, as you'll notice, you have this search box uh, that you can search this site or you can search everything and people and conversation and so on. But if you start typing something in here, customer, for example, you don't get any suggestions. And that's a rather powerful thing to get that the search engine knows what you're talking about, knows your context. And uh, this is also known as autocomplete or um, IntelliSense. It's all the same thing. It's basically a way for showing for a text box or somewhere where you're entering text that I know what you're most likely looking for. And in, in an organization, that's of course very powerful. You probably have a bunch of different words that you use a lot in your organization. The product list, for example, the departments, something like that. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up. And you do that by going into the admin, of course, finding the SharePoint part of that which is down here, the SharePoint Admin Center. And here under search, you have a lot of interesting things where you, which you can add. And the one I wanna show you here is query suggestion settings. And not that many settings, but you can import from a text file and export to a text file. And um, that's basically it, what you have here. So I'm gonna take the um, bicycle sales list where I have a list of all my products and here are all my product names. So let's sort those alphabetically. A to Z, like that, excellent. And then I'll just control shift and um, down arrow. So I have all of these things. And then I'm gonna start notepad. And there we have a text file with all of our product names, right? So I'm gonna save that on my desktop is a good place and just do query suggestion. Maybe you don't want all of these product names like you don't want all these suggestions and you can of course clean this up but this is a simple way of doing it so i'm just gonna import that list now go back to my query suggestions page import from a text file browse and it's on my desktop query suggestions okay and there we go so now if you go back to your sales sites which is where i was and start typing, you might expect that change to be there. Let's go back there and I'll search for touring and there's no search suggestions. I did not do anything wrong. It's just that this change takes a while to be implemented. It's not really documented how long it's gonna take, but by this time tomorrow, it should be there. So I can't show this in this demo, but that's how you do it. Go to the SharePoint Admin Center, add a list of the words you wanna use. That's how simple it is really. Thank you for watching this demonstration.